because at the moment the data suggests the teachers don't feel they're going to get a deal and actually I think that's going to infuriate them more. Okay. You're a great expert on facts. Tell me, what's the difficulty in recruiting physics teachers? How difficult is it? Can I ask, would you mind, Lord Baker, if, if, if that conversation carries on off air, just because yes, we've got so course. much other news to fit into the programme. And you're staying with us because we're going to come back to you in just a moment. Uh, Laura, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, Kevin Courtney, thank you very much for talking to us from the National Education Union. If you're an MP, the Commons Tea Room is a pretty open space and he made a point of talking to lots of colleagues. Now, MPs who met him said that the Deputy Prime Minister did not look happy. In fact... He looked pretty angry. Now, I knew Gene Nadine really vaguely when he was Education Secretary. And I rang up one of his friends a week ago, 10 days ago, and I said, look, my advice to him is not Somebody to listen to my to telephone, never mind. Um, my advice to him... To would you turn it off? I will, don't worry. I'll put it on silent. You're in demand. You really are. He's in demand. Yeah. I don't somehow think it's the Prime Minister. Don't worry. But you were saying, I, you called a friend I would to say, talk to Mr Zahawi. I would, and I, I said to a close friend, him, persuade him to resign now. When in the back of their minds, was this the man who actually tried to avoid paying three and a half million pounds worth of tax? I pay all that through my PAYE. And so... Sorry, give me your phone. These the Prime Minister's very insistent, isn't he? Well, I, <laughs> can I ask no, you no, finally? No, no, what, no, 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 please let me ask you a question. What's your advice then to Dominic Raab? Well, first, I think he behaved cr completely correctly in the case of, uh, of Azwili because he did the, the process of asking the uh, ethics minister and yeah. the ethics, uh, no, the, the ethics advisor, and he quite surprisingly did it within a week. Yes, within but a week. On, on two months. And oh, I my think God. it was. He's really trying to get through to me, isn't he? <laughs> Someone um, is telling you to shut. Please, finally. What's and your so, so to therefore, he's, therefore uh, I believe that what is hanging over uh, the Deputy Prime Minister, as you said, are accusations of bullying. And I'm afraid the general public probably feel there's no smoke without fire, and this will hang over the rest of his career. I've no doubt about that. You can't shake it off. It's rather like Mr Sharp in the BBC. It will never, he will never be able to shake over the fact of the fact that he tried to arrange uh, a financial deal to help the Prime Minister when he was still trying to be the head of the UTC. Okay. That erodes um, his authority. We're going and to it pause it erodes the Thank authority you. of the Deputy Prime Minister if he goes on insisting it's not true, it's not true, it's not true. Many, many people he already see that his authority is eroding. OK. Um, just to say, Richard Sharp says he wasn't involved in making a loan or arranging a guarantee, and I'm going to leave it there. And there's your phone, and thank you so much for coming thank in. You. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, according to an international monetary fund forecast, the UK will be the worst performing of all developed economies this year. 